Hey guys, today I wanted to show you my newest survival kit. It's in a mini Altoid container. I put an old map on here just to kind of make it look a little cooler. I'll just open it up here for you. But I like to keep this in my car. And I'll just kind of unpack it for you, show you what I have here. So inside I have a spool of about 10 foot of 10 pound fishing filament, a compass, fish hooks and swivel hooks, a little container of super glue, which is great for repairing lacerations, securing things together, fixing rips or tears and clothing, a little tiny pocket knife, fishing weight, and some duct tape wrapped around a straw. Essentially what this is, is I put some regular duct tape around a straw and then just cut it with 10 snips which duct tape, of course, has all types of purposes. Use it as a bandage, to attach things together. Of course, a thousand uses for duct tape. I always like to have that in my survival kits. Got a little piece of a hacksaw, which is good for if you need to cut some saw something. Two iodine tablets, which will disinfect about a quart of water. A razor blade point, use this as a spear point, make an arrowhead. Some true lime <laughs> flavored water powder. If you are going to be taking some <laughs> creek water and disinfecting it with the iodine, this will give it some flavor. Band-Aid, fishing hook, a spinner for make a little lure. And then inside this little container I have, it's waterproof, I've got a little sliver of fire starter, a little bit more fishing line and some matches. And then some more sharps, I've got needle, safety pin, a couple more hooks, something to make a little spinner out of, a little lure for fishing, a piece of graphite if I need to write a message, and some striking paper for my matches, and another little laser, razor blade. So it's a tiny little kit, but has a lot of essentials you'll need if you're in a situation where you need to survive. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to check out my channel. You can see my other kits and other things I make out of repurposed and reused items. Thanks again, guys. Take care.